Hey everybody, uh, so this is going to be a little review slash disassembly and I'm doing a, trying a new camera setup. I'm using my webcam. Uh, I'm going to need you all to let me know how it looks. Don't mind these wires. I keep tucking them away so you don't see them, but they keep showing up. Stick! Uh, but, you know, I got get tired of this tripod being in the way so now I just got my little microphone here and I can see myself in my computer over there so let's give it a shot it's, you know the mats upside down to me but you know we'll make it work let's see and if I like it maybe I'll buy a even better webcam or an actual camera, we'll see. Anyway, so this is the TRM Adam, and I'm wearing my uh, Last Ranger long sleeved shirt. This is a really cool knife. It's got a, uh, you know, titanium hardware. Pretty cool looking scales, if I do say so myself. I like the orange and black. It kind of looks like as they were making it, they were dripping the colors one at a time. It's an American-made knife. I gotta remember, it's upside down now. Uh, so TRM stands for Three Rivers Manufacturing. The knife comes in a pretty cool box. Good thing my light's whiting it out so you can't see it, but it comes with a few things in here, you know, a sticker and pretty nice box, actually. I bought this on a Blade Show. Made in the USA. I like it. Uh, it's a cool box. Adam. May Adam guide us. That's from a video game. Anyway, so... No, uh... I'm still learning about this knife. I bought these little O-rings to put on there. They match the G10. Black and orange. Nice, uh, what is that, bead blasted finish on the blade, a liner lock. Very slicey. Looks like the, uh, I've been using it so much, the, it's not lined up correctly, but we're taking it apart, so it doesn't matter. So anyway, let me gather my, my things. I got my trusty Shoka Cola. for screws. I'm going to be using some of this. Let me open it. Alright, let me try to open it. There's an applicator tip. And I had a uh, longer one, but it disappeared. No idea where it went. Be careful pulling that out. Is it in there? Nope, it's long gone. And since this is TRM, I thought instead of my usual good screw, <laughs> I would use uh, the TRM screwdriver set. It's actually a really cool little screwdriver set. TRM. You can't read it because it's blacked out. Maybe if I adjust my light a little bit. Does that help? Nope. This webcam likes to whitewash things. I don't like that about this already. We're going to work on that. There's my brain from Soap on a Rope. A slip from Lancelot from my coin. And the squirrel. We're going to work on this whitewashing business here. Oh! Beverage check! Orange monster! Hmm. Delicious. I think I'm missing some uh, some doodads, and of course I'm missing a, a cleaning cloth. So what do I? Let's see. Oh, I got. I got. Hang on. I'll use 
use this one. There we go. I got some doodads somewhere, but as bees likes to call it. But it's gone. Anyway, so let's put that there. That there. So what's cool is the scales come off separately. Let's see if I can guess it correctly the first time. Yeah, boy! So let's uh, go ahead and disassemble. Are these screws? I got a dapper here. Oh, they're magnet. Nope. Those screws are not titanium. So it looks like it's just the old clipadooski. Are these screws different? Those ones are short. These are a little bit longer. So I'll keep them in the lid over there with the clip. And go ahead and... I mean, do I even need to take both scales off? I don't know. But we're on a learning quest. Let's just see what it looks like without the scales, shall we? You could take off the scales without having to do the the old pivot. Let's put the scales here. Look at that. Let's check out the action now. Woo! Now that's a slicer. Yeah, the O-rings rest on top of the liner lock, even when the scales are on there. Uh-oh, I heard a horn. Is my wife home? I hope not, because I'm already deep into this. I'm already deep into this. Let me see. They're going to be so loud if they are, and I'll have to cancel it. I redo this another time. I'm watching the door carefully. All right. Oh, so I took the pivot out, and uh, you know we got these body screws, but maybe I don't need to. Take those apart. Yeah, because that came out. And there's your washers right there. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to get these out. There's one. There's two. Let's clean these. There we go. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. So shiny. Just kidding. Just kidding. Alright, so we're gonna clean these up here. These nice. These are phosphorus bronze washers. They're so shiny now. I'm trying to reflect the light at you. Now we're gonna get this one. One of them was way dirtier than the other. I'm going to squeeze this in here, and we're going to scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Why were there three men in that tub? So here we are, cleaning, 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 cleaning. There we go. Alright. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take this off. Put that on. And then just the tiniest little bit will come out. You can see it coming. And there's just the tiniest little hole. So we'll just uh, squeeze it. And put it right there. Put some right there. Whoop! Whoa! Whoa! Blow out! Alright, let's go ahead and 
scoot that in there and get inside here too because you know it spins around that pivot the knife not that one the knife goes around this little pivot in fact I'm gonna clean it this all whoopsie daisy as well and you know what just because uh, I'm here I'm gonna put a little bit there we go put that right there now the smooth side means there was no no friction on it so the outside ooh, that's, that, that's got a lot of a lot of kipple mm -hmm. anyway we're just gonna get this back in here and hope the washers Stay in place. There we go. Let's get this liner out of the way. Yep. Let me line up the holes. There we go. There we go. Where's that? Try not to touch that. Have I been saying KPL this whole time? This is Slickamon, not KPL. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm dumb. This is KP. Er oh, keep doing that. It's because everyone is always talking about KPL, which is good stuff, but this is Slickamon. Slickamon is best for things that are not bearings. Sorry, Justin, and everyone who's been watching up to this moment of discovery, going, what an idiot. You know, as you're filming, it's like, it's hard to remember and keep track of what, what you're doing, what's going on. It's hard. The washers keep slipping on me because they're so... Slick. And the uh, pivot is stuck. I gotta hang on. We gotta we gotta fix this. What did I do here? The pivot got stuck. I was cramming it in. Why is it stuck? One of the washers came off too. Gotta put that back. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with the knife blade in there. Close it. Spread them. One of the washers there has graciously gotten out of place, so I need to teach it a lesson move that back into place okay let's go a little pivot with your slick them all on there not to be confused with the brand I've been saying this entire freaking time because I'm an idiot all slick. Look, it's coming out a little bit. Come on. Come on. Maybe that's as far as it goes. Another pivot. Maybe that's it. No. No, because it has to go. Yeah. It has to go in. Unless I'm putting it through the wrong hole. <laughs> Wouldn't be my first time. 
Oh man, you're so stupid. Is this one better? Oh, it's fitting better there. That's what it was. It was in the wrong hole. Alright. Just needs to rotate a little bit, but my fingers is all slick. But I have something. Where'd that go? Where'd that go? Is this it? Is this it? Yeah. This kind of stuff is precisely why I got this thing. Just gotta rotate it just the tiniest little there we go snap see get yourself some of those these are the Lynch Northwest variety put that on we'll adjust later let's get these scales back on My family is off having a water day with some of my wife's friends right now, and I'm home alone. All by myself. But you know, I get to I get to do this and learn and experiment. It's angled upwards, so it doesn't sit flush on it until you get the screw in there. Wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's moving. Take the leg! There's one. Did you guys see Gary's video, The Last Ranger, about the, the victor? And at the end, he posted a clip and was like, can you guess this? And it was just a man screaming. Needless to say, I was not able to guess that. Alright, we'll tighten these. Go sub to The Last Ranger, though. Gary's freaking awesome. Alright, so... I can feel it tight, but I need to... I need to slick all of them all. I can feel it loosening. And then I could probably... No blade play there. In there. Still shake shut. That slicker mall's gotta get all slicked in there. I can feel it though. I can feel it. You know, I wasn't gonna do all this knife maintenance, but people are like, you should do it! And you know what? What a better way to learn your knife than to see its insides. Center just a tiny bit off. But I mean, 
rockets out. It's shake shut. I will say though, this is a cool knife. It's very slicey. 20 CV steel's awesome. Pretty easy to take apart as long as you know what you're doing and putting the uh, pivots on the right side. Mental note, pay attention when you take it apart. Hold the knife from the back. If you're unscrewing on the right, that means the shiny side is over there. You know what? A couple of flicks. And this thing's going to be sweet. I mean, it's already two shakes now. Alright, well, this has been a quick little thing. Time to suck all this stuff back in. Whoop, there it is. Set that there. Put that there. Uh, realize I don't remember where I put the bag. Oh, here it is put this there, but, uh, you know, if you're afraid of taking apart your knives, don't. It's really fun. I mean, here I am, just learning as I go. And you all know me. I ain't the brightest melon in the patch. But, uh, yeah, so, it's really fun. Don't be afraid. Just do it. Take it apart. Get in there. Get in there. Uh, Everyone needs a Shoka Cola can to keep all your bits and bobbles. Shoka Cola. And uh, so, in the meantime, uh, thanks for checking this out. I know it wasn't so much a review as like a initial, initial look, I guess. That's more of what it is, an initial look. Not a review. I've only cut food and paper with it. And it does that job well. And you know with bronze washers, it takes a it takes a bit to wear them in. You can't just expect bearing action. You gotta work on it, and it makes you appreciate it. And when you hand someone a well actioned knife. Like when you get an older TRM and you're like, dang, that's smooth. You know that that person put work into it. And they used it. And they showed it love. So there you have it. TRM Adam with disassembly, I guess. That's an awesome knife. I really like it. Should you get it? Uh, depends. They're not, you know, too budget friendly. But they are American made, hanging around the $200 mark, some more, some less. But they're awesome. I like them. Very sharp. Very comfortable. Very slim. This would be a good backpacker's knife, probably. But that's all I got for you. So until the next time. Oh, yeah, I completely messed up my intro. Exit. Outro. You know what? Forget it. I'll catch you next time.